Well, my name's Lonnie Johnson. I'm an inventor. Um, I, most people know me for the Super Circle Water Gun. I invented that, and I also am responsible for a lot of the Nerf Dart Guns. Um, but I have a number of inventions, over 138 patents, I think is the latest count, which is kind of cool. Um, but right now, I'm uh, operating a laboratory. I have a number of, a team of scientists that uh, are working on some of my, my ideas. We're developing advanced battery technology. I've also invented a new type of engine that converts heat into electricity. Uh, and we actually are starting a project with NASA in a couple of weeks to uh, develop that technology as a power source for future outer planetary spacecraft. I'm an engineer. I'm a graduate, graduate of Tuskegee University. And so when I got the idea for the water gun, you know, applying some basic engineering principles was pretty straightforward. Fortunately, I had also had the skill to actually make the components. So I had a little machine shop in my basement with a small Unimat lathe and, and end mill. And so I was able to actually machine each one of the components for the gun, glue them, assemble them together. And um, it took about two weeks or so to make all the parts and then put it together. And first time I pumped it up and shot it, I knew it was a winner. I'll never live it down. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really cool, you know, and it's um, sometimes, you know, I, every now and then someone will actually look at, aren't you Lonnie Johnson? They'll actually recognize me, which is kind of strange, but um, I, it gives me a bit of a platform, though. I think the upside of it is that I get to talk to kids about, you know, their potential and what they could do and what's possible for them. And I think that's important. It gives me a, a, a nice role to play. I use a magic word called perseverance. And um, you know, you can have a lot of things going for you, but if you don't persevere and stick to your dream and stick to your vision and, and disregard the naysayers, people will always tell you what you can't do. But you're gonna tell yourself what you can do and pursue your vision, pursue your dreams and don't give up. I like to think of kids as snowballs rolling down a hill. You know, as they roll down the hill, they get bigger and bigger, right? And you can have a kid rolling down a hill where they're getting negative feedback, being discouraged and told that they're troublemakers and they, they get in trouble, you get negative feedback. And all of a sudden they start developing this self-image. I'm a bad person. And eventually, you know, self-pride steps in and says, I'm gonna be the baddest person I can be and they're gonna be good at being bad. On the other hand, if they're rolling down a hill where they're getting positive feedback and they experience success, they're gonna to want to more, experience more and more success because it feels good. Once they get that habit, it's something you can't take away from them. I'm developing a ba uh, actually developing two battery technologies. Um, one is a solid state battery that would be more for portable electronics. The lithium air battery or lithium fuel cell um, would be more for vehicles. So imagine um, being able to drive across country. You know, Tesla does about 300 miles on a charge. Imagine being able to go 3,000 miles on a single charge and you could drive across country without stopping. I think people would um, have less range anxiety about electric vehicles and that will make it a little bit easier for us to transition from fossil fuels, which means that we can sort of put a halt on global warming and maybe even coming up, come up with some uh, technologies for reversing some of those effects. It's a challenge. Um, I've taken on some pretty dif difficult problems and um, like I said, it's, I'm that snowball rolling down the hill still. I'm a kid and um, I have this desire to experience success again. <laughs> Super circle was great so I'm trying to outdo myself. <laughs> <laughs>